Welcome to the homework for lesson 25. This is module 4 of grade 1. Get your name on here first before you forget it. We're solving using number bonds. This time adding the tens adding the tens first, which is the way we've been practicing it already. Uh, from that and that that's how we did it on uh, for lesson 24. Write the two number sentences to show what you did. So taking the smaller of the two numbers, making a number bond out of it, tens and ones, and then adding it to the use and then adding those to the other add ends, adding the 10 first and then the two. So that's 14 plus the 10 first, 24, and then I'm going to add the 2 to the 24, 26. And here the 14 is smaller, so that's 10 and 4. So I'm going to add the 10 first. And then add the 4. Thirty-five. All right, and if I do this a little too fast, um, if uh, sometimes I, I just I know some of these facts in my head and I don't have to count them up in my head, it, I can do it a lot quicker. Um, if I'm going too fast for you, pause it, and or you know you can just do it yourself and then come back and use these to check it. Uh, there's a lot of different ways to use these videos. Uh, uh, sometimes I, I do rush it on purpose just because um, nobody wants to watch a math homework video for a half an hour. So I do try to keep them short. But you can pause it. You can go back over the parts over and again, over again if you need to to see uh, what the steps are. Break up the smaller number. 14, that's 10. 4. I'm going to start with the 15 and add the 10 first. 25, let me make that plus, so it's not so sloppy. And then add the four to the 25. And for D, same thing, 14 is smaller, so I'm gonna make that a 10 and a four. And you can see this is 15 and that's 25. We're adding it to 14. This is what this one here for D is 10 more. So our total is probably going to be 10 more. And that, that's a trick. That's a mental math trick that you can use a lot of times. Let's see. So starting with the 25, we're going to add the 10 first plus the 10, 35, and then add the 4. Thirty-nine, and then ten, six. Add the ten first, because it's easy to add tens. Thirty-three, thirty-three plus six. Right there, and you could count that up, or if you know the 3 plus 6 is 9, you know it's 39. And here you might see this coming. There's a 6 and a 4, and those are partners to 10. But we're going to add the 10 first. And then add the 6, and then you see your 6 and 4 is 10, with the 30 that gets you all the way to 40. And you might have noticed here that we're, it's where both of these we're adding to, let me use my highlighter, we're adding to 16. And this 23 had us one short of 40. 24 is one more that got us to 40. So that's another mental math trick sometimes. You can notice things like that that can help you check your math. This one is different. So solving number one, this time we're adding the ones first because sometimes it makes more sense to add them. You don't always have to add the tens first. 
sometimes it makes more sense to add the ones first and write the two number sentences to show what you did. Now this first one here is not a good example of that because there aren't any ones. If you look at this 10, 10 and 0, it doesn't make any sense to do it that way. So just to sort of just to follow directions here, I'm going to make this 20 and 7. So I would add the, and really what I what you should do here is add the tens first because the, the way these numbers are, that's just the way it works out to make to add the 20 plus the 10 for 30 and then add the 7 for 37. But to, if we were going to add the ones first, then it would be 10 plus 7 equals 17 and then add. Thirty-seven, and you might have been able to just look at that and solve it in your head. Here we go, ten and three. So twenty-seven plus. I'm going to add the ones first. Three is thirty, and then thirty plus ten. 40. 13 plus 26, this is going to be 10 and 3. So it's 26 plus 3, that's 29, right? 6, 26, 27, 28, 29. And then add the 10. You might find that one easier. Depending on the numbers, sometimes it's easier to do it one way than another. Okay, so here are the 14, we need 10 and 4. 26 plus the 4. And you can see right here, that's going to, 6 and 4, those are partners to 10. So that's going to make it 10. But that it, it tells you it's going to get you all the way to 30. And then add the 10 more. gets you to the next 10, which is 40. And it's going to happen again here. Add the ones first, That's which is the 18 plus 2, which is 19, 20. And then add the 10, 20 plus 10, 30. And here we're going to make this a 10 and an 8. 21 plus 8. You can see this 1 plus 8 here is going to be 9. So it makes it 29. And then add the 10. 29 plus 10. 39. And 19 plus 11, that's 10 and 1. 19 plus 1 is 20. And 20 plus 10 is 30. So this is, I mean, that's, you may notice if you go back over this page, there's a lot of examples where the ones digits add up to a 10. And that's really a case where you, if you see that, you see partners to 10 in the ones digits, that's where you want to do the ones first it really makes it a lot easier because then you're just adding tens once you get that and you know your combinations to ten so you right away you see oh that's a ten and then how many more tens and then we're well, just counting tens and you're doing good that's going to work for this one here too because you can see the one and the nine ten and nine twenty one plus nine thirty and thirty plus ten 